if we buy something three times a day and use something three times a day at this amount, I think it has a huge impact. Food for me is definitely meeting with people. I associate food with community, with interdependency. Every meal I think about the community we build because of the link between food, nutrition and uh, what we do as a community. For me, food represents many things, like struggle for equality, for example, or struggle for civil rights, like food as a civil right. I would say our food co-op is basically still the only co-op in, in Poland that runs stores. It's open for everyone, yet it has members on the different rules than shoppers and has employees as well. I always think uh, of our innovation as this really quirky approach to how the things are done. So I think what we do is we provide food that is healthy or a lot healthier and better than most of the food you can get at, at um, uh, ordinary market. I consider sometimes our business model as an anthill and each member doing this small shift is like an ant or like we are cooperating insects doing something really small all together creating something really big every member of our co-op has to work at least three hours per month our members make this three hours per month work to get the discount at our stores we run now two shops. We are planning to open the third one. I coordinate many members and I know <laughs> that it's really important because without this three hours per month our business model would like collapse. <laughs> we really depend on our members. I've been a member of the co-op well, almost since the very beginning, uh, since the first meeting, <laughs> I work as a cashier. It's really a miracle what kind of people the cooperative attracts. Many things became easier, but for a very long time, we really depended on people ready to commit uh, their free time. In my life, I've been involved in different initiatives, enough of them to see that uh, often this kind of enthusiasm uh, dies out. Uh, like people realize they have other priorities, uh, maybe they just uh, get bored or want to move on to something else more exciting, but here we are seven years later. <laughs> how the idea came up. So I knew that for sure we need to have a shop and a place where people can come uh, on a regular basis and kind of make the shoppings, daily shoppings there. So it has to be open uh, six days per week. This I knew. I knew we have to employ people because temporary involvement will never develop the initiative to the state that we want to be able to create some alternative. But the, how to do it, I really didn't know. I've started to talk with my friends and gather people in 2013. 
I already had contacts to farmers and experience in being a member of food cooperative. And also I was involved in different groups like degrowth groups. I had a lot of knowledge, enough knowledge to kind of and ideas to know what I want to kind of develop. But I was also looking for people with whom I can do it. And that was the time, 2013, to collect all these people, wonderful people with whom we were able to create it. For many years it was a baby and I'm happy that it's seven years old so it's big enough to let it go and, and allow it to go whatever members want. <laughs> I have two roles in the co-op as an employee. I work as a, a purchaser. I purchase uh, mostly fresh fruit and uh, fruits and vegetables. I stay in touch with the farmers and the small producers. I am also a member of the board. I take part in the decision-making when it comes to the whole organization. We have uh, purchasing criteria and purchasing recommendations. So the criteria are that we don't buy the food uh, or other products from uh, big corporations, that we try to support small producers and small farmers. I think one of the very important criteria is seasonal criterion, and uh, it basically says that whatever grows here, which is like broccoli in the season, we have it, but when it's coming from Italy or Spain in the wintertime, we don't order it from there. We make sort of an exception for fruits that uh, don't grow in Poland. Uh, that would be oranges from Sicily or avocado from Spain. And this would be very important for us, yes. Whenever we can work with another co-op, we will prefer that to working with just a regular company. Przed 1991 rokiem prowadziłem gospodarstwo dokładnie od 1979 roku, ale konwencjonalnie. Zdecydowałem się na ekologię także dlatego, że po prostu środki zaczęły przeszkadzać chemiczne i nawozy tak samo zaobserwowałem, że ziemia zaczyna jałowieć. Robiły się tak zwane przepłony i uznałem, że nadszedł czas, żeby po prostu odwrócić. I to był mój główny cel, żeby przestawić się na ekologię. To znaczy z kooperatywą zaczęliśmy yy, współpracować, mi się wydaje, gdzieś około 10 lat temu. Jeszcze nie było sklepów. Chociaż nie jestem członkiem, ale jestem dostawcą jak w rodzinie. I to jest takie jakby, no nie wiem, wsparcie duchowe dodatkowe. Możliwość współpracy z kooperatywą dobrze jest dla mnie ogromnie ważna, bo dla takiego małego producenta, jakim jestem ja, możliwość pracowania z ludźmi, którzy rozumieją to, że, że jak gdyby jest różnie, że nie zawsze może jestem w stanie wypełnić wszystkie zamówienia w 100%, tak? że, że gdzieś tam się staram, ale nie zawsze jest to możliwe, jest dla mnie ogromnie ważne, dlatego że yy, wydaje mi się, że taką możliwość daje jedynie kooperatywa i, i, i właśnie tutaj akurat kooperatywa dobrze ma swoje sklepy zewnętrzne i yy, jakby ta możliwość, ta elastyczność ze strony kooperatywy jest dla mnie ważna. Więc zawsze jakby kooperatywa daje 
ten punkt widzenia taki konsumencki, z tej zasady takim miejscem właśnie, gdzie, gdzie rolnicy z, z konsumentami mają możliwość spotkania się. To jest fajne, no bo, bo mogę, mogę, nie wiem czym się pochwalić, dzielskiem, no dla mnie to nie jest aż takie, <grych> ale cieszę się, że ktoś chce zobaczyć takie rzeczy, żeby w końcu, w końcu, w końcu poznali, ja zawsze marzyłem, żeby, 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 a propos ci z miasta <grych> I, i ci ze wsi w końcu się razem pogodzili, nie? Czasami, w, tylko w kapustnych, we wczesnej fazie, jak nie mogę już sobie poradzić. To od razu szczerze mówię, nie mogę sobie poradzić ekologicznie i mam tam na przykład cały hektar e, zlikwidować, to wtedy czasami się wspieram czymś tam. Ale to wszystko klientom mówię, no, no, żeby, żeby nie było. No. No, czy staram się być taki fair wobec, wobec, wobec was, wobec kooperatywy i wobec klientów swoich, nie? Jest takie przysłowie. Powiedz mi, czym się odżywiasz, a powiem ci, jakim jesteś człowiekiem. I was born here in Warsaw, right? So I lived most of my life in this big city, right? You're crossing each day thousands of people, and you know nobody. I've had big issues with this, uh, living in this city, kind of uh, being isolated and kind of uh, feeling lonely anyways. You are kind of between people, and still, you don't know any of them. You know some people from university, some people from school, and that's it. The quality of life that's changed for me, being in a cooperative, it's like I feel in a small town, like a small neat community of people who are actually around. It's not like only in the shop or only in somewhere else, but we also do those things like workshops and we join the same workshops because we have kind of a same way of thinking. So I actually feel that's like additional set of 500 friends I have around Warsaw who have the same kind of values and the same kind of routes they go in the city. So it's like a big change, like a big change of quality of life. So you don't have to be uh, that much isolated, right? Anymore. Więc spółdzielczość w Polsce ma prawie 200-letnią tradycję. Mamy, jest to około 10 tysięcy spółdzielni w różnych 15 branżach, w różnych branżach działających. I dodatkowo młodzież organizuje się w tak zwane spółdzielnie socjalne. Jest to spółdzielczość, która angażuje ludzi, którzy są bezrobotni. I to jest dobra inicjatywa i ta forma też funkcjonuje w handlu, szczególnie lokalnie, w środowiskach miejskich i wiejskich, gdzie będzie współpraca samorządu ze społecznością. This is our new place and we believe it's a, it's a big step for us because it's the first place that we will own that will allow us to host educational meeting and integrational meeting. It will help us to be with values, uh, direct contact and uh, discussing before voting. This is actually important for us when we make decisions we don't just vote. We, we believe argument is more important than the discussion and vote is just the final step. I believe our store is somehow changing the atmosphere of the district and of the street. It's possible that uh, you can have in the city center very various initiatives, not only big banks and luxury stores, that it's also possible for the regular citizen or regular neighbor uh, just to come and do their groceries. It's very important for us to create safe uh, space for the members, for the staff, create a community that trusts each other because we uh, make decisions and we operate basing on trust, actually. When I talked to my parents, 
that I'm going to work at the COP. They really didn't understand this idea in the same way as I do. Because of the communist legacy, the elder generation understands COPs as a business model which is forced uh, by government. But I see after this time that uh, it changed and they really started to see the same values <laughs> in this movement that we appreciate now. We can really change the meaning of the community and the, of the COP <laughs> in Poland. Many people look at us like, how is it possible that it's working? It's so messy so many times. But I think uh, that's the beauty of it. We are a complete mess that is succeeding in, uh, um, in the system that is completely different, than to, to, completely different to what we do. So I love the co-op because it's different and I love the co-op because it's going against the stream, not with the stream.